So I'm going to leave the modesty for the rest of the year. But the fact is, New Hampshire is the most important place on the planet right now for liberty. And we're seeing more happening here than we are in the rest of the world combined. I mean, certainly the folks in Egypt and Tunisia, they're working, they've got a long way to go to get here. we got a big lead on them. And when it comes to organizations in New Hampshire that are doing something far and removed, the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is the organization that's getting the most done. So with its gold standard, with the endorsements of, of uh, you know, politicians that have a liberty leaning, giving people a target to shoot at, endorsing uh, candidates and, and promoting them with the PAC, this is the organization to support in New Hampshire. This is the one to watch. For those of you who are in the Free State Project, I think likely you agree with me that uh, the Free State Project would be a, a shotgun blast of porcupine quills all over the state if it wasn't for the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. Um, that, that it is a, uh, it, it's a focusing uh, factor I have yet. I've heard many stories on the, the origins of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. It's kind of like the Batcave. I'm not exactly sure where it came from. But whoever got together and created this organization, God bless you, because you've done great work. any of the things that they do, so I'm going to practically read off the list here just to make sure. It's a, the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is an all-volunteer, non-partisan, non-profit political watchdog. By non-profit, we mean when you give money, you can write it off on your taxes. So, you can choose yourself. It's not, no, you can't go. Not a 501c3? Because it's a political action committee? Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't pay those taxes. Just don't pay those taxes. Here's my office advertising. Dedicated to preserving your freedoms and improving public policy in New Hampshire. We truly are a citizen and taxpayer advocacy group. Our bill review process is probably the best in the country. By probably, we mean if you combined all other 49 states and looked at the stuff they're doing, they wouldn't hold a candle to what the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is doing. Most liberty organizations in other states have no idea what their legislators are doing. We are reviewing every single bill. A thousand pieces of legislation last year went through. Each one of, you know, a trained New Hampshire Liberty Alliance volunteer looked it over, categorized it, rated it as potential threat or benefit. There were a few benefits. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Jim Coffey, by the way, for the night film, giving me a lot to talk about on air. I, have, I host a nationally syndicated radio show program for those that, that don't know, and it, it's nice to, to have things to talk about uh, going on in your state. There are uh, several trained, designated New Hampshire Liberty Alliance members that act as citizen lobbyists at the State House. You can identify them by their little pen. They're uh, testifying at hearings, promoting the often unheard message of liberty on how, um, how liberty is being trampled upon and given pieces of legislation or encouraged by others. We recruit, educate um, individuals interested in running for office. This is uh, an incredibly important part of the mission of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is teaching people not only, um, you know, encouraging them to get to be candidates, but teaching them how to do it. And then once they get in, the process, uh, you know, wheedling through the very complicated process of getting your bills done. It's one thing to just introduce a bill. It's another thing entirely to get it through all the way the process. As I've heard, the Senate is a terrorist organization. <laughs> <laughs> Takes some doing it. <laughs> You'll notice that there are 57 bills that were uh, that were designated for the gold sheet only set um, in the New Hampshire House, only 17 from the Senate. So you'll be seeing the Liberty ratings later on this evening. I'm excited to see them. That didn't come in my paperwork. However, I do know who the Activist of the Year award is. We are driven by principle, not politics or party. We fight against special interest legislation, demand accountability and transparency at every turn. We want government to be vastly smaller and less costly than its current state. We're down, what, with the budget, a decrease of 12%, and I say not nearly enough. Yeah. <laughs> so it's amazing to be able to say, uh, 
Um, well, our state cut its budget by 12%. How did your state do last this year? And then when you realize that that 12% cut only brings us back to 2007, my God, <laughs> there's a lot of work still to be done. And the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is the organization to do it. Our signature document, the, col the gold standard, is a uh, liberty cheat sheet for legislators. We don't think legislators would cheat, though. <laughs> Our volunteers compile and distribute um, it to the uh, State House of Representatives prior to every voting session. Our political action committee endorses and financially supports pro-liberty candidates and causes with money and volunteers. We believe it is critical for New Hampshire voters to understand how our elected officials represent them in Concord and to support those that want to work towards individual freedom. The annual Liberty Rating is a report card for all 424 legislators on how they voted in relation to the Liberty Principle. The ratings go from A through F and then the ominous constitutional threat. You can see that when you get your list, it'll be designated with a CT. And they've diminished over time. I keep an eye on these things. There's fewer and fewer. I hope that there's, I hope there's very few this time. But we can raise the bar and raise, call more people constitutional threats and get rid of that. We'll be passing out a version for you to see this evening. Some of the highlights last year for the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is 120. Now, I know most of you know this, that 120 of our endorsed uh, legislators managed to make it uh, win their elections. But what a stunning number. Compared to other states, compared to what they're talking about, this Tea Party revolution, I've got nothing bad to say about the Tea Party revolution. I just think that perhaps New Hampshire's doing it better than the rest of them. <laughs> Train dozens of new citizen watchdogs to read and review every single piece of legislation. We were highlighted at the Nullify Now event as the premier watchdog group for New Hampshire. I can't imagine why we weren't uh, uh, highlighted at just about every uh, liberty organization as the premier watchdog group in New Hampshire. We've assisted several New Hampshire individuals and families in need with non-governmental, voluntary financial donations from our Civic Action Fund. About 80% of our recommendations on the gold standard were followed by legislators. About 80% of our recommendations on the gold standard were followed by legislators. How old is this organization? What? Seven, eight, nine years old tops? We mobilized citizens in several key pieces of legislation, such as jury nullification, recording public officials, medical marijuana, Expanding Second Amendment rights, homeschoolers, and home brewers. Yeah. <laughs> we gave a well-received presentation of the Free State Project's Porcupine, uh, the Porcupine Freedom Festival event. Some of the participants were sober enough to understand it. <laughs> we led tours of the New Hampshire State House, talked participants about the uh, state's legal procedures. Asked citizens on drafting, um, assisted citizens on drafting new pro-liberty bills. As a matter of fact, this was done for me. I want to thank Mark Warden. We've networked with other pro-liberty organizations on both state and national levels and revamped our image with new signs, table layouts, new gold standard sheets, and an upgraded email announcement. So, you know, everything's new and different this year for the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. I want to quick mention the uh, situation with um, Chris Lopez and Seth Cohen. For those that you don't know, uh, just a few days ago, Representative Seth Cohen's wife, Chris Lopez, fell about 15 feet off of her deck. Um, the railing broke away behind her, and uh, she broke her back and injured her spinal cord. The word is that um, her spinal cord is intact, so that's, you know, um, but obviously this is going to affect their, finan their, their family in a financial way, um, so anybody who can donate and get involved as far as, uh, you know, helping out would be uh, really appreciated. The NHLA will pledge to match all donations received at tonight's dinner, dollar for dollar, up to 250 bucks. So Um, 
Chris has organized a couple of our Liberty dinners uh, several years ago. For those of you that cannot donate tonight, there is information sheets um, that have the uh, dedicated website, the Facebook page, donation sites, and volunteer coordination efforts uh, next to the donation box. In addition, Jim Dodson from the uh, Liberty Books um, here in Concord will donate 25% of all book sale proceeds to Chris and Seth. Be sure to um, check out his table. It's right over here. Now, where is the um, the donation box for? Okay, great. Right there. You can tell by the gold balloon. We'll end up moving that to the back. Okay, follow the gold balloons. Okay, so let's recognize the people who are involved here. Um, Chair Eileen Landis, please. Joel Winters. For those of you who don't know, Joel was the first uh, uh, representative that was elected who was a Free State Project mover, so he is a real tra trailblazer in that area. Research Director Dan Garthway. Membership Director Keith Ammon. <laughs> Secretary Jason Sutherland. <laughs> Thank you for the work, Jason. Treasurer uh, Steve Belay. Do I have a right here? So if I can get all legislators, people that have uh, been elected to the New Hampshire House, Senate, uh, I, I'll, even, I'll even take selectmen, please. Stand up right now. <laughs> 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 been elected to one, uh, espouse the ideas of liberty, please stand up so we can all see you and you know, we want to make sure to raise some money if we can. Yeah. I want to remind everybody that we're doing a 50-50 uh, raffle here, so uh, you can support gambling rights in New Hampshire by buying some tickets. <laughs> Remember, you get to keep half. The other half goes to a, an organization you care enough about to come out and have dinner with us. Also, the, uh, the, the blind auction back here, you can pay a little more. What's this? Silent, silent auction, silent blind, not deaf dumb. <laughs> Just write the checks, people. Just write the checks. I want to acknowledge Kevin Bloom for being the lead organizer for the dinner. <laughs> Amanda, I always get your last name right, uh, wrong. It's uh, Bonadillo. Bonadillo. Thanks for your work, Amanda. Keep up with right now, that's what you need to do. The Liberty Activist of the Year. Now, I'm sure, as many of you know, there are a lot of names that were uh, injured yet for Liberty Activist of the Year. And uh, the, the, the list of names has been growing. They're exceptional candidates, and uh, this is auspicious for New Hampshire. This year's Activist of the Year, Kevin Bloom. Right. 
Kevin Moon was chosen for Activist of the Year for his long-term commitment, dedication, and effectiveness with pro-liberty causes, and his willingness to work for snacks. Kevin actively volunteered in the 2010 campaign of several successful candidates, including Mark Gordon, Dan Young, Matt Swank, Kenny Simmons, Phil Striazzo, with cameo appearances and signed holdings for Jen Coffey and Seth Cohen. He's worked diligently for the passage of HB 262, a bill that helped to deregulate the beer industry. Beer. He worked diligently for the passage of uh, HB 262. He spent many hours researching regulations. Can you imagine how much uh, it's the warren of uh, Byzantine regulations that surround this? Arranging testimony with uh, small brewery owners, attending numerous meetings with the Liquor Commission, but those were riveting. <laughs> he was uh, he'd been continuing with similar efforts in the uh, 2012 legislative session, if you know what I mean. Uh, not limiting himself to beverage freedom issues, Kevin has been actively involved in several public demonstrations, including the right to bear arms, yeah. right to work, Ooh. at the State House, and opposing the TSA at the Manchester Airport. Also in 2010, Kevin started the Informal University, an organization that offers assistance to parents in the homeschooling community and their kids. And Frank, it has nothing to do with the homeschooling community, I just want to learn some new stuff. Finally, the NHLA events core, as the NHLA events coordinator, Kevin has been integral in the <coughs> fundraising efforts of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. I'd like to remind you that uh, there's, there's uh, still opportunities to get on board with fundraising with the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. We'll even better bill your credit card monthly. <laughs> <laughs> Volunteer Appreciation Dinner, the Meet the Legislators event at the State House, and the NHLA Annual Liberty Dinner. This one. Yeah. He's known as the go-to guy for creating successful fundraising events that support local pro-liberty activism. Thank you, Kevin. Your activism is appreciated and it will have a long-lasting effect. Come on up here and give a speech. Yeah. for the NHLA, that word would be leftovers. <laughs> if I had two words, it would be more leftovers. <laughs> Are you going to eat your roll? <laughs> um, but I've had a great time doing this, and um, I seriously can say that there's never been a flutter bunch than the NHLA to work with. And I have a great time, and I'm looking forward to doing it again. Thank you all very much. get up there and get things done. I saw a lot of people back there, so maybe this is the chance to scoop them. We've also got the Legislator of the Year Award based on this year's Liberty Rating, which has uh, been distributed and unveiled in a few minutes. 
The legislator of the year is Mark Wharton. Time. What's that? It's not there. No, it's there. Yeah, it's there. 
<laughs> okay, so um, thanks to Dan, Joel, Eileen for all your work on this list. If you guys have any. Where is Joel? I don't see him. There he is. Thank you. So if you guys have any questions about the ratings, uh, Dan and Joel are the ones to ask on this one. Do we have some questions? Is that what you're raising your hand there, Alex? No. Okay. <laughs> If you have any questions, please direct them towards Dan. If you have any now, I'm sure. Banner's gotten so hot. Uh, we have a, a much larger amount of laws that are rated in this year's, making it a you know a more even and bipartisan list than it's ever been before. We salute the top 20 percent for their dedication to uh, liberty. This, the representatives are doing the right thing. There are senators, I'm sure. Where are some of them? <laughs> we strive for uh, principle for politics. For any of you folks who are not currently dues paid members, and by that I mean this year, um, please get a hold of Eileen and uh, talk to her about membership. We can make it very easy for you. Remember that the Political Action Committee is integral in getting Liberty candidates selected here in New Hampshire. New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, one of the most powerful groups in lobbying for liberty in the world, in my opinion. We have a reoccurring donation for 2012. The uh, This pack is, because of the presidential campaign, this pack is going to be all that much more important for the, uh, the election during 2012. And I'd like to introduce to you our keynote speaker, Larry LaPole. That's the dinner, folks. Thank you for coming. Hold on. So, uh, Representative Paul Brown from Raymond uh, was our 50-50 winner. Yay! He donated the whole of the wings to the uh, Christian. Yay! Folks, uh, one more thing I forgot to mention that I host a radio show called Free Talk Live. You can listen to it. Free Talk Live dot uh, We're on 109 radio stations as of 109. Is that how many it is? Yeah, I, it's hard for me to keep up. Uh, 109 radio stations across the country. Please, uh, you know, take a listen. And uh, we talk about liberty every issue, every time. Have a safe drive home. Thank you.